hello guys welcome to the channel once again this is your boy bravo i know it's been a while and i do really apologize for that i've just been busy with family things and i've also gone back to university so things are a bit um, busy right now but i'll definitely go back on track uh i've seen the update of scalar 2.7 and i've had uh the chance to play around a bit with it and what i've understood is with a multi um multi output multi voicing thing on the ios it does work but the only app which works perfectly without issues with the uh, updates is aurea pro cubasis dot does work to a certain limit the same with Drumble, but in the case of Drumble, it might be me because I don't know how to use the application to its fullest, so I might be doing um, something wrong. I tried in BitMaker 3 and it's similar to Cubasis. So the only one that really works is Aurea Pro. First, I'm going to show you how it works in Cubasis and then take you over to Aurea Pro. So um, I have a number set up right here, which is a multi, multi instrument. As you can see, it has different instruments in there you can choose right so the next thing you want to do obviously is load scalar into your midi effect slot on that track let's go ahead and load scalar up and then next thing you want to do is go into the settings scroll all the way down to multi voice output right click on that and enable it once that is done let's go ahead and create a scale all right now we have our chords down here next thing you want to you might want to do which is not compulsory but it depends on how you want to trigger the, the, the chords anyway. You might want to activate, enable uh, MIDI binding. So basically now you can play these chords with just one single note. So what we can do now is, for example, go into the settings, right? Leave this, set this on channel one, meaning the string is going to be triggered by the whole chord, right? So mean every chord you press, is going to uh, that's going to trigger the strings. Acoustic piano, we can go ahead and put that to, oh, hold on, we can put that to channel number two. Meaning, this is going to be triggered just by the second note of the chord. Now, keys, we can put that on to channel number three. No, actually, it is the first note, sorry. Channel number three means the second note of the chord, right? Now, if I play, this is what we're going to hear. You could hear the chords playing the strings fully, right? Now, to confirm that this works with the multi thing, let's go ahead and deactivate all of this and leave the third track, right? So if I play, you're gonna hear just the, the single voice. So now if you go ahead and put that to channel number one, it's gonna work, it's gonna play the whole chord. So let's go back to three. All right, so as you can see, if you have a multi-instrument application, it does work on that. Now, the question is, does this work with a different track in the project? It's a yes or no. So yes, because you can get a cause to trigger. So let's go ahead and show you what I mean. So if I tap on, to, 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 on a MIDI input, I can choose the first track as the inputs, right? And I can go ahead and choose track number one as the in, as the channel to follow. And then obviously let's go up. And if we play, you're going to hear. Let's bring this down a little bit. Just a little bit. You're going to hear obviously the piano playing. All right. Which is fantastic, right? But then if you go in and choose, for example, channel number two and go up here and say channel number two. If you play. Nothing changes. So, uh, pur, 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 all right. And that is with Cubasis. Similar issue with Beatmaker 3 and also like I stated previously, similar issue with Drumbo. But in the case of Drumbo, it might be my fault because I might be doing something wrong over there because I know Drumbo is pretty much flexible when it gets to, when it comes to MIDI. Now let's go into Aria Pro and let me show you how it works. So in Aria Pro, I have two tracks, similar setup to the one in Cubasis. So obviously I have this track right here uh, with the main uh, pa -pa -pa, with scalar on it. And obviously 
is going to be controlling track number two. So on track number two, I have Z unloaded, right? And um, two, 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 if we tap on the effects section, the FX section, over here, I'm going to choose, for example, track channel number two. So meaning it's going to be triggered by the first note of the chord. And obviously, where it says, and where it says inputs, you're going to choose scalar as the input, which is really nice in this case because it tells you where you're getting the MIDI from, right? Which is fantastic in my opinion. But anyway, um, all right. And then that's it. So for example, if you play, so I'm going to leave this on solo for a second so you can hear just the second track, right? So if you go back in and tell it to get it, it's from channel number one, right? And bring up the keyboard. So Aurea Pro does definitely work with the new update. In the case of Cubasis, I don't know if it's a bug or if it's something, if that's the way they want it to work. But I'm going to get in touch. In I'm going to send them an email and hopefully they get back to me. And I hope it's a bug, honestly, because <laughs> if they can fix it, then that would be really um, fantastic and it would be good for us. So, yeah, that's all about it, guys. And stay safe.